Hi guys, my first paramotor was a high suspension unit and today I want to tell a story how I almost ended up in the wine yard on landing because I didn't pay enough attention to torque. This is part 13 of the Insights into Paramotor Geometry Classroom. We go through every aspect of paramotor design so you will be able to make a qualified judgment what is the ideal paramotor for you. Torque is a surprisingly powerful force that is turning the engine and the frame on your back in the opposite direction of propeller rotation. Now it's pretty easy to rotate the engine and the frame on your back because the engine and frame have pretty low weight and its center of gravity is pretty close to the center of rotation. The best way to observe this behavior is by looking at a pilot taking off on and you are standing behind him and you see the pilot running on the ground applying full power that is he's facing full torque now he's not yet suspended in the harness and the paramotor sort of pitches sideways rotates sideways on his back this is really an awkward behavior and the way to prevent that is to ensure a tight connection between the harness and the frame so they cannot move. And to ensure that, you need to connect the harness and the frame at the bottom. Now that's a pretty easy solution, but yet there are many paramotor manufacturers that simply have forgotten this. Now when you consider the pilot in the harness and the frame with the engine as one unit, it's a completely different story because now the torque is not rotating 25 kilogram of, of the paramotor, it needs to rotate maybe 120, 130 kilogram of the pilot and the paramotor together. So there's a lot more mass and also uh, with the pilot sitting in there, the, the center of gravity gets a lot lower and you get the pendulum effect. So take this as a paramotor with high suspension, so I will suspend it at the top. Now I apply torque that will rotate the paramotor sideways and at a certain moment the pendulum effect will stop uh, the rotation and the paramotor will remain in this position uh, when a power is applied. This means you are still facing torque, you are uh, still sort of weight shifting to one side and you need to compensate the remaining torque. There is a solution for that, and that solution is a diagonal strap. Super simple, super easy, and it works pretty well. Let's assume the paramotor is talking to the right. In that case, a diagonal strap that goes from your right leg, your right knee, to the left carabiner would transfer the weight of your right leg onto the left carabiner, effectively weight shifting to the left. This strap is adjustable, so you can adjust the amount of the weight transferred to the left side based on how much torque you're facing. Uh, let's assume level flight. In my case, for level flight, I need around 5,000 RPM on the engine, which uh, refers to around 1,800 RPM on the prop. So this would be my level flight. I'm facing this much torque. Now I can adjust my diagonal strap to perfectly compensate the torque for level flight. That is, the paramotor is perfectly balanced with no tendency to turn to the left or right. The only problem is that when I want to add power, let's say for a full power climb out, I add RPM at throttle and my torque increases rapidly as it is a square function of speed. But my diagonal strap remains the same, so at full power climb out I'm facing this much of uncompensated torque. Luckily the diagonal strap is adjustable, so if I need to change the power permanently, that is, to go from level flight at trim speed to full speed bar and trimmers, I need more RPM, I can adjust the diagonal strap to match my 
uh, torque that I'm facing at that moment. So again, even at full speed, with trimmers up, I can fly pretty much balanced. So you can adjust the diagonal strap for what you need. The only problem is that this adjustment is not quick. So for some aggressive changes of power, you cannot adjust the strap quickly. So far so good, but things get a bit more complicated on takeoff. When you are st standing upright for takeoff, the distance between the carabiner and your right knee is way longer than when you're sitting. This means you need to be able to run, you need to have this diagonal strap very loose or disconnected. So right after takeoff, your diagonal strap is either loose or disconnected, giving zero torque compensation. But for takeoff, you go to full power immediately, facing the full torque of your engine without any compensation at all. So you really need to pay attention on takeoff, either be gentle on throttle or really careful with brake toggles to steer the glider straight. Similar situation is with landing, and this is the story that happened to me when I started paramotoring with a high suspension unit. Now what happens? I was approaching my tight landing spot with the diagonal strap perfectly set for my level flight. I had a very balanced flight, but I forgot to disconnect the diagonal strap for landing. And before landing, I did two things. I released the throttle and got out of the harness. By releasing the throttle, the torque got to zero because the prop has no power. Secondly, by getting out of the harness, I applied a lot more tension onto the diagonal strap because I strengthened up my body and my leg kept pulling the left riser down, effectively weight shifting to the left. So the weight shift effect of the diagonal strap even increased. So I had zero torque to the right and a lot of weight shifting due to the diagonal strap to the left. And right before landing, the glider took me to the left and I almost crashed into the, into the vineyard. Luckily, I was safe. I just, uh, I just damaged my glider. I learned from this lesson. Please do the same. And please don't forget to disconnect your diagonal strap before landing. So the final summary, torque compensation on a high suspension unit is done by a diagonal strap, which is a great, super simple solution. Basically nothing can go wrong with it. There are some disadvantages, however. The torque compensation is set to a certain level and you need to readjust every time you change your speed of flying. Readjustment is sometimes not possible, especially when you make quick changes, throttle up, throttle down for some aggressive freestyle flying. The diagonal strap must be loose for takeoff. This means you're facing the full torque right after takeoff. And please don't forget to loosen your diagonal strap before landing. Should you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. In the next video, we will discuss torque compensation on the medium gooseneck bars and the low bars. Stay with us, hit the subscribe button and see you soon.